One of the SCP Foundation bases is located somewhere at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. This top-secret place is ideal for securing, containing, and protecting humanity from weird, terrible, and very dangerous creatures and objects. Every morning, staff with high-level access check all the mysterious beings kept in cages. SCP-87 is a room with a dark staircase leading to pitch darkness. The object itself is a pale face without pupils and a nose. The object hasn't been studied yet and represents an average level of danger. Object SCP-337 is a mass of ordinary human hair weighing 130 pounds. It probably has intelligence, can move in any direction, and control each of its hairs. It attracts all the nearby strands of hair to increase its mass. It's unknown what size the object can reach with an unlimited supply of hair. Represents an average level of danger. Object SCP-432 is a small locker with a huge network of intricate tunnels and mazes inside. The object is safe, but unexplored. Object SCP-682 is a colossal reptile the size of a bus that can transform its body. It's practically invulnerable, can regenerate, resist any damage, and adapt to any danger. It has intelligence and doesn't like people. The object is extremely dangerous and still unexplored. Uh, stop. Wait a minute. Where is object SCP-682? Its cell is empty. Oh no, it's escaped! Hit the alarm! The huge reptile that cannot be destroyed is lurking somewhere in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. It's grown fins and gills to feel comfortable underwater. It's heading to the mainland for one purpose – to enjoy its freedom and scare people. Ten submarines and twenty cruisers begin patrolling the area using high-precision echolocation technologies. The reptile couldn't have gone far. A signal appears on one of the radars. Some huge object is floating toward the ship at great speed. But it's not SCP-682. It's something much bigger. Ah, oh, this is Meg, short for the Megalodon, a giant ancient shark. Usually, they were the size of a train car. But this shark is enormous, like a Boeing airliner. Ships and submarines have disturbed this ancient monster. It approaches one of the cruisers and breaks through the hull. The boat is sinking fast. At this moment, another dot appears on the radar. This is SCP-682. The reptile quickly swims to the shark. They look at each other for a few seconds. SCP-682 is much smaller than the Megalodon. But it has intelligence and the ability to regenerate and transform its body. The first reason for this, it's faster than the Megalodon. The shark swims quite slowly because of its gigantic size and weight. It lacks agility. The reptile can grow several fins and move four times more quickly than Meg. Another reason? Meg only has two eyes. It can't see anything with its back turned. SCP-682 can grow several additional eyes on any part of its body, if it wants to. Besides, the limbs of the Megalodon are its fins and a large tail. It only uses them for swimming. SCP-682 can have up to 10 limbs. These can be paws with claws or tentacles. It can grow arms with sharp spikes or bone ridges. It can attack or defend itself with them, take objects, or destroy something. But there's one thing that can help defeat the reptile – jaws. The Megalodon has about 300 large sharp teeth. Each of them is the size of a human palm. But SCP-682 can grow a thousand small teeth, like those of a piranha or crocodile. The reptile can grow anything, but it can't increase its strength. The power of the megalodon's jaw is much greater. It can easily bite through the ship's metal hull or firmly grasp SCP-682. The only problem is that the reptile can recover from any damage caused by the shark. Besides, it's too fast and can quickly escape the toothy mouth. The chances of success for the shark are minimal. SCP-682 has already calculated all the weaknesses of its enemy. And now, an epic show begins. Two monsters are swimming towards each other. The Megalodon opens its mouth to catch the beast, but the reptile deftly dodges it. The shark pushes the enemy with its giant tail. The force of the impact is equal to the force of a five-story building falling on the ground. SCP-682 flies off to the side and loses consciousness. But after a few moments, it opens its eyes. The creature recovers in three seconds. Razor-sharp crests now grow in its hands. 
SCP-682 can easily win with these limbs. It's swimming toward the shark, but at this moment, several strong nets fall on the reptile. This is help from people. The reptile cuts through the nets, while the giant shark opens its mouth and bites the crests off SCP-682. Then it catches the reptile in its jaws. Inside the shark's mouth, SCP-682 regenerates completely and tries to escape. Meg spits the enemy out. The reptile grows large bone maces on its hands. It's going to use them like hammers, but the thick skin of the fish provide good protection, so these upgraded arms are useless. The shark just doesn't feel anything. It twists and tries to catch SCP-682 in its jaws once more, but the reptile quickly swims away. SCP-682 realizes it won't defeat Meg in open combat, so it shrinks to the size of a small salmon. The shark loses sight of the enemy. At this point, SCP-682 swims inside the opponent's mouth and gets into its stomach. The shark starts to panic. It starts thrashing around and spinning. Something is happening inside its body. Then the Megalodon spits out SCP-682 and slowly sinks to the seabed. Meg is defeated. SCP-682 has won. It was obvious. People throw nets on SCP-682, but it cuts them into tiny threads. It climbs onto one of the ships and smashes the vessel. People run away and jump into the water. SCP-682 hits the deck of the ship. The monster wants to move on to the next boat, but notices several big fins in the water. A few dots appear on the radar. These are five megalodons. They're swimming here to avenge their friend. SCP-682 jumps back into the water. Sharks surround it from all sides. They take turns trying to catch it. The reptile manages to dodge the first, second, and third one. The fourth shark finally grabs it. SCP-682 covers itself with stone scales. The fifth Meg bites the reptile from the other side. But SCP-682 doesn't feel the bite. Its skin is strong enough to resist the shark's teeth. But still, it decides to change its strategy. The monster then makes itself tiny and flat to slip out of the megalodon's jaws. Then it grows a hard shell and hides inside it like a turtle. Sharks can't chew through the shield. They toss SCP-682 in different directions like a ball. Sharp thorns begin to grow out of the shell. They scratch sharks' noses. They can't do anything. Right at this moment, a round bath escape gets lowered into the water. It moves up to the hidden reptile and opens the door. The water gets inside along with the monster. SCP-682 can't go anywhere. It's inside a high-strength carbon steel chamber. It tries to break out, but it's pointless. Sharks are not satisfied with this. They want revenge. One of them bites through the cable of the bath escape. It sinks to the seabed and hits the reef. The sharks tear through the material, and SCP-682 manages to get out. The megalodons attack the reptile, but it uses its sharp spikes to scare them away. Then SCP-682 becomes furious. Sharks swim away from it. The monster has won again. At this moment, a powerful earthquake begins. The seabed cracks, and a giant tentacle climbs out of a huge crevice. It seems that SCP-682 has a new opponent, and this is a kraken. The reptile is about to defeat this monster, too. But this story is for another video. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.